It's time to meet your Friday night phenoms from week seven of the high school football season presented by Knox Community Hospital in the community for the community. If you're curious if the Danville Blue Devils are legit this season, look no further than their signal caller stats from Friday night where they pretty much ended the game in the first quarter. Walker Weckesser played like a man possessed when he exercised his dominance on both sides of the ball. 9 of 12 passing, 135 yards through the air, 41 also on his feet, three touchdowns. He also picked off Cardington's quarterback in the first quarter and had five tackles. Oh, and he only needed three quarters to get these numbers. Forget Georgia, these Devils look like they want to head down the Canton. Nominee number two was on the dance floor last Saturday night doing the worm at homecoming. And Friday night, he was moonwalking down the turf at the castle, catching seven balls for 105 yards while reaching Pater three times, helping the Golden Knights bounce back with a 27-6 win over East Knox. Our next nominee has the Ontario Warriors partying like it's 2001, as signal caller Bogpin Miller did it all on Friday, making defenders look silly on the ground for 88 yards and two scores, while also going to the air for 219 yards and two more scores for the 7-0 first place Warriors. Check out sophomore Aiden Raymer showing out just like Big Bro, totaling four rushing touchdowns and 189 yards rushing. Crestview rode the workhorse to a dominant Firelands Conference victory over rival foe Plymouth. Raymer's quick twitch and patient running was next level on Friday night. Our next fee nominee only needed half a football to make our roster because Galleon's Braxton Prosser was cooking up the Highland defense like Gordon Ramsay. Only this master chef was serving up a full platter of pigskin pay dirt with a side of pickle juice. Three courses of touchdowns to go alongside nearly 250 yards of greens as the Tigers sautéed a much-needed victory in MOAC play. Next, we take you to Fredericktown, where this Freddy had four touchdown plays only as a sophomore. He is known as the one and only Blake Sipes. He went 7 of 12 passing for 196 yards, had three touchdowns through the air, and also a rushing touchdown to go along with his 14 rushing yards, being a major component in defeating the Loudonville Redbirds on Friday. Our final nominee scored a 42-6 road win for Colonel Crawford over Upper Sandusky, and this Eagle brought out all the plays. Quarterback Trevor Vogt ran for 132 yards and a three-pack of touchdowns, putting his team so far in front that the senior signal caller got a chance to play wide out in the second half, cementing a monster night with a 62-yard TD grab as Crawford cruised to their sixth win of the season. It's time now to vote for this week's Friday Night Phenom. Comment in the number of your favorite performance below to decide who did it best.